In a case that saw the Immigration Department crack down on a syndicate helping non-locals work illegally in Hong Kong, the ringleader has been sentenced to 41 months in prison after being convicted of conspiracy to defraud. 18 people have been arrested so far. Forged documents, including bank statements and water bills, were among the evidence seized during the operation. The Immigration Department said the fraud cases came to light when they vetted visa applications of some foreign domestic helpers. Some documents were found to be problematic. After an investigation, the department flagged 40 suspicious cases involving 26 helpers. The Immigration Department said they found that some electricity and water bills bore the same charge number and payable amount. The same typos were also found in the fixed deposit notices of different employers. After verifying with relevant companies, these documents were found to have been tampered with or forged. The Immigration Department later uncovered that a 63-year-old female foreign domestic helper agent had obtained the personal data of some employers of foreign domestic helpers through a 59-year-old man. They include copies of identity cards. The documents were then used to apply for visas for foreign domestic helpers for them to stay and work in Hong Kong. The Immigration Department said applicants must pay up to $40,000 to the syndicate, whether the visa is granted or not. It's estimated that the group made a total profit of more than $1 million. During the operation, 18 people, including 14 helpers, were arrested. Six of them were convicted, including the agent, the syndicate's leader and the 59-year-old man. Authorities issued a reminder that anyone making a false statement to an immigration officer is liable to a maximum penalty of a $150,000 fine and imprisonment for 14 years.